tonight I'm gonna be doing a revision review I'm gonna do each juice from the boosted line I'll do them separate and then I'm gonna splice it all together to make a one revision review so uh, we'll go ahead and start off with the OG flavor boosted which is a strawberry um, cream kind of milkshake kind of changes flavors I mean when you open it you just get hit with that custardy kind of buttery note and it uh, it's just I mean I could smell it all day long um, I got a tugboat clone here go ahead and Drop a few drops in there. Now I got um, now I got four Addies over here, and they all have new cotton in them. So it's not like I'll be using the same cotton and same Addy. But uh, this is the boosted three milligram little drippage there. You get that strawberry on the on the lips. That uh, creamy flavor comes through on the inhale. It's just an all. I mean, it's an all around great vape. It's my all day vape, really. As you can see, the vapor production on all his juices is is spot on. To me, it's a perfect blend. It's a perfect ratio of PG and VG bottles. Awesome, childproof tops. The uh, labels, eye catching. I mean, that's the first thing you'll see when you walk in a shop or when you open the package if you order it. I'll go ahead and jump to the next flavor. Go ahead and screw this atomizer off of here. And all of these are they're different ranges. The builds, like this tugboat, is a point three. Um, some of these got new cotton, so I'll go with the Dark Horse here. It's got a Clapton coil, single, single Clapton there. Um, comes in at 0.43. I'll go ahead and rock it over here on the uh, Hexome, boosted Hexome. I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the uh, Wastegate. Now this is fresh cotton, but it doesn't take but a second for it to soak in, so. It's that Japanese organic. I haven't tried no cotton bacon or anything like that yet. So I really like this uh, Japanese organic. Mm. Right away, man. Raspberries just boom. Mm. So good. All these are three milligram. I was vaping everything in a six and then I switched down to the three. The anti lag and certain flavors were starting to agitate my throat on a six. But um this is the Clapton coil and a dark horse. Uh point four three. I don't have a voltmeter. I got it in my pocket, but I ain't messing with it. I got it sitting at like four volts on this thing. And right away, that raspberry, it's like a, a, a cheesecakey raspberry flavor. To me, it's just raspberry and cream to the notch. And I'm not talking about like a whipped cream, I'm talking about like a custardy cream, you know, kind of cream cheesy, like the cheesecake, you know, I'm looking right here on a little list, so I don't get anything wrong, last time I got the uh, intercooler a little off, but um, yeah, this wastegate, man.
And on this setup, mm, even with new cotton, I don't get no cotton flavor. So I'll go ahead and un unscrew this. I got a uh, Derringer that'll go on that. The I'll put the intercooler in. We'll do that next. It is sitting at about a point three five. It was bouncing three five three six. I'm just gonna keep it on the four volts. This is the intercooler like I said all the labels I mean they just pop they're like eye-catching it's like eye candy on the bottle and I like that he won't have to switch up any of the labels because you know they're the whole FDA and all the the rules and regulations and legislation politics in it well, you know the labels appealing to children and all that which I agree with you know don't get me wrong children walk in with their parents sometimes into a vape shop and they see a bunny or they see something like that. It's, hey mom, look at that. But this is the intercooler. Um, now I'm going to scroll up on this thing so I can read it. You know, it's got, it's got the apple. That's what I get right off the bat, man. That apple and it's cranberry. I think last time I said it was just two apples, red and green. The cranberry... I fucking love this juice, man. And this is a single Clapton in here. This is a five wrap. And they're 22 core with a 32 wrap around it. Let me get back to the cranberry notes. I get the apple right away, and to me, it's, it's a red and green apple. The green is more predominant, but um, the cranberry comes through on the end. And I know a cranberry is probably a really hard note to work with in juices, so he didn't want to be overpowering with it. And I get that. It's, I mean, it's subtle. When you exhale, you get the, the apple on top, but at the last bit, you're getting that little bit of cranberry. So it's not all apple. Juice this up one more time. I should be looking up the ratios, but somebody will probably pop up with it. And if you do, thank you. And to anybody who doesn't have a hexome, now you're missing out. I mean, mad props, mad. I went ahead and closed mine off with a piece of copper that I patinaed. It's hard to see in this light. There's a little bit of it. You can see the blues. and But um, I didn't like seeing the chip. There's a lot of people that like seeing the internals. But um, yeah, this box is slamming, man. I want to thank Corey big time for sending that out. And I want to give a big shout out to Corey for being just a, a stand-up dude. I mean, great guy, great in the vape industry, not only for great juice but uh, just what he's doing in the industry I mean the he's standing up for our rights he's standing up for you know for everything we stand for this this one guy is standing up this right here has saved my life my wife's life it's, it's a life changer and it, it's a it's a alternative for people I won't go on and on about all that you know this is supposed to be short review but this is intercooler Just mm, cream, apple, cranberry blended together perfectly. Corey, thank you, man. Um, I got another box here, unregulated, dual, parallel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and vape the... Uh, did I do boosted? Yeah, I did boosted. 
Did wastegate. Did intercooler. Look at me. I'm getting lost here. Alright. We got a little boy here. We'll see what it's sitting at. I forget. It's 1.1 1 .1 something. 0.17. It is a dual freaking fresh cotton. It's a dual uh, not Clapton. I took a 22 gauge and then spiraled a 30 around it. Not tightly like a Clapton. I don't know the name for it. We'll go ahead and uh, BOV. Now, I, I mean, I'm going to read it right here. It is, I mean, it says top fruit flavors on the market today. And yes, the just when I vape it, it reminds me of the gum used to get Tutti Frutti. I think it was had all the stripes, the little, I guess, zebra with all the multicolored stripes. That's this in a bottle, man. Um, the fruit notes just boom, bam, pow. They're, they're so, it's like fruit ninjas. This fresh cotton, so I'm gonna soak the hell out of it here. Let that soak in there, so. Yeah, that's like over juice there. It's all good. Yeah. Made me close my eyes. You see that? Mm. The fruit notes, man. I, I, I mean, I can't even call them out. I know there's some kind of berries in there. And man, it makes the freaking makes the house smell so good. I mean, mm. I love this build too. Mm. Damn, Corey. Mm. And like I said, man, the vapor production, spot on. Not too harsh with the PG, not too flavorless with too much VG. I vape a three milligram Nick, as said in the previous juice flavors. Warm vape. Clouds for days. Fruit ninjas popping in my taste buds for days. The BOV blow off valve. All right. Um, last but not least, anti lag. Second of the OG flavors. Fresh cotton, dual build. Just a uh, 22 gauge. One, two, three, four, five, six wrap. <coughs> Coming in at 1.6. It is on the Stellaire base with a um, Ninja Mods barrel, which just got full wide open like the um, Doge. Let me get some water here. Yeah, it's just got the full wide open barrels. You can use the uh, sleeve for the Stellaire. Fits many others. Check them out, man. Ninja Mods. I think it was like 12 bucks. And, uh... I forget the name of the dude who made the cap. I'll post it in the comments. I'll go get the box it came in. But, um, it's a glow-in-the-dark chuff cap. New cotton here. I'm gonna soak this. Try not to make a mess this time. Now, this anti-lag, man... It is a melody in my freaking mouth. Blueberry, strawberry, watermelon, mixed with whipped cream. Just, wow. Yeah. Who would have thought blueberry, strawberry, and watermelon, honestly, would go together good like this? 
perfect blend. Even on a full wide open setup, I mean, you see the vapor production. Yeah, I mean, it's just the flavors blend together perfectly. I get the, the blueberry and the watermelon off the top. The strawberry comes through, as everybody would say, and the exhale on the back of the tongue, you get that strawberry flavor. But the um, blueberry and watermelon are, are right there. Right, right there. Mm. Much love, Corey. Much love, man. I'm going to cut this. Do some chopping and screwing. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, Cat. Thank you to the whole Boosted team. Much love to all y'all. We stay boosted. As always, we stay boosted. Love, 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 love the juice. Much love.